Good day. Today, Thursday, September 22, 2022. How will Putin's mobilization trade the combat in Ukraine? Russia's warfare call-up comes as troops go through battlefield losses and amid plans to annex greater Ukrainian territory. Give Ukraine battle tested and decided to win, Ukrainian troopers think about the looming arrival of tens of lots of mobilized Russians as a minor threat. Their assaults will be aggressive, however now not dangerous, a serviceman, who spent countless months on the front traces of the southern Mykolaiv region, advised Al Jazeera. On Wednesday in a televised address, Russian President Vladimir Putin introduced the mobilization of 300,000 guys to shield our motherland, its sovereignty and territorial integrity, and to make certain the security of our human beings and human beings in the liberated territories of Ukraine. But the actual parent of these to be mobilized is one million men, Navajagazade Europe, the exiled model of Russia's oldest unbiased daily, claimed on Thursday, citing a top-secret decree and a supply in Putin's administration. The Kremlin denied this report. The partial mobilization follows Ukraine's sudden counteroffensive success in the Jap Kharkiv area that used to be nearly entirely liberated from Russian troops until now this month. And the Ukrainian forces are equipped to counterattack in three greater directions, observers say. One is in the Luhansk area that lies south of Kharkov, where the counteroffensive will focal point alongside the strategic Siversky Donets River. Fierce battles with heavy losses took vicinity there in the summertime, after Moscow withdrew its forces from four northern areas and the capital, Kiev. The second path is in the southeastern Zaporizhzhia region, around the city of Hulyaipol, from the place Ukrainians can wedge deep into Russia-occupied areas and bisect them. The 0.33 is the southern location of Kherson, an entrance to the annexed Crimean Peninsula that used to be occupied in early March, perhaps due to treason by way of Ukrainian officials. If the Ukrainian counteroffensive takes location in the coming days, Russia will now not have time to teach and install the newly mobilized troops. Russian forces will have to use the mobilized troops to structure a 2D line of defense about 100 kilometers, 60 miles, away from the contemporary front line, Nikolai Mitrikin, a Russia specialist at the Germany's University of Bremen. The Russians will have to refill their battalions that have a huge deficit of manpower, due to heavy, disheartening losses in the previous six months, he said. If via mid-October Ukrainian forces can ruin via the front strains in at least two instructions and develop for at least 50 kilometers 30 miles, they will deal the Russian forces a heavy blow that will upturn the mobilization, Mitrikin said. As a result, the inevitable loss of armored automobiles and artillery will closely obstruct the revitalization of Russia's army may in occupied areas, he said. But if there is no profitable Ukrainian breakthrough, the Russians should restore the fighting readiness of many frontline units. It doesn't suggest they will be prepared to attack, however they should preserve the front line, Mitrikin said. We will face attacks. Separatists. Pro-Russian separatists in southeastern Ukraine are a long way from positive about the looming Ukrainian counteroffensive. We will face assaults from all sides, and their goal will be to disbalance and take us apart, Alexander Khodakovsky, who instructions the East Battalion of pro-Russian separatists in the southeastern place of Donetsk, stated on Telegram on Thursday. We are no longer dynamic, we act with inertia, and a great deal of what we say frequently contradicts what we do," he stated, referring to the arrogant declarations from the Kremlin and separatist leaders about the in addition liberation of Ukraine. Although Putin's announcement of partial mobilization grew to become front-page information worldwide, Russia has already spurred up recruitment, in accordance with rights groups, opposition figures, and media reports. Newly enlisted, in most cases, teenage conscripts have been forced to signal up for frontline service. Older guys with prior Navy trips have been lured with promises of excessive salaries and massive compensations in case of their deaths. Thousands of inmates had been recruited from prisons throughout Russia to be a part of the Wagner non-public Navy, led by means of oligarch Yevgeny Prigozhin, nicknamed Putin's chef. They have already been doing a partial mobilization and solely legitimized it now, receive greater rights to forcibly do it, Lt. Gen. Iher Romanenko, the former deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. But the mobilization will truly end result in a logistical and monetary quagmire. The 300,000 will have to be armed and furnished somehow, and that's questionable, he said. And the pleasant of new recruits will be mile years away from the 170,000 skilled servicemen Moscow used to invade Ukraine in February, after 12 months of severe education and team building. The Kremlin will consequently use the archaic mannequin of huge assaults that contain massive quantities of servicemen and tremendous losses. 
This is the tactic Soviet chief Joseph Stalin used toward Nazi Germany and its allies at some stage in World War II. It led to the perfect loss of a navy group of workers and the civilian populace in records 27 million people. They will motel to the historical Russian way of the use of the gang-up principle, the use of volume of servicemen, due to the fact that grade is problematic, Romanenko said. Ukraine will have to compensate for the quantitative enlargement by rushing up its counteroffensives, conducting preemptive strikes alongside the 2,700 kilometers long, 1,677 mile front line, in particular the 1,000 kilometers long, 620 mile stretch of energetic warfare, he said. Successful counteroffensives comparable to the one in Kharkov can also even reason unrest in Russia and topple Putin's government, Romanenko said. If there is a couple of such counteroffensives, the extent will grow to be great and begin a domino impact that will wreck Putin and all of his coterie, he said. Planes and foreigners. Putin's announcement created a feeling of panic amongst Russian men who rushed to purchase aircraft tickets, sending expenses flying. Their hasty flight continues the exodus of thousands of heaps of middle-class Russians that accompanied the war's establishment in February. Many Russian households who can have enough money a relocation overseas have already safeguarded their sons. We are no longer going back, I am no longer risking their lives, the mom of two sons aged 17 and 21, who moved to Montenegro in July, they'd hire be terrible and alive right here than lifeless heroes return home. Apart from the mobilization of Russian nationals, the Kremlin seeks to recruit foreigners with guarantees of Russian citizenship, the holy grail of hundreds of thousands of labor migrants from ex-Soviet republics. The step more often than not goals nationals of ex-Soviet Central Asia, the biggest team of labor migrants who go through corrupt police and bureaucratic issues that can be solved as soon as they get a burgundy Russian passport. Heavily influenced by the aid of the Kremlin and their parents' nostalgia for the Soviet era, some are already prepared to volunteer. In early August, Jahangir Jalalov, an Uzbek neighborhood chief in the Urals Mountains area of Perm, got here up with the notion of developing a battalion of pro-Russian Uzbeks. We stay and work in Russia. We don't simply want to, we ought to justify the bread we're eating he stated standing subsequent to a Russian flag and addressing countless dozen Uzbeks who greeted his speech with an ovation. After Putin's mobilization announcement, Fantastic Uzbeks commenced an online marketing campaign, urging their compatriots no longer to be recruited and reminding them about viable crook persecution, again domestic for turning into a mercenary. Listening to the White Tsar, I realize that Uzbeks have all the possibilities to take phase in the suicidal hostilities legally, Timur Numanov, a blogger in the Uzbek capital, Tashkent. Today, there ought to be a name to urge authorities to denounce the Uzbek-Russian treaties of the alliance due to the fact the Russian facet is inadequate, he said. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel.